investigating Tiff County District Attorney's Office has closed its one case of double voting that was presented to them mid-January by the Secretary of State, Brad Roffensperger. According to District Attorney Bryce Johnson, 72-year-old David Morrison voted twice during the 2022 election. Registration forms show that he voted once in Tiff County in October of 2022 and then seven days later again in McLennan County, Texas. People don't have confidence that their vote matters and that everybody gets one vote and not more than one vote, uh, then I think that can cause people to not turn out and go to the polls. And so it's, even though it's not a serious felony, like a lot of the cases we deal with, it's something that we take seriously. Georgia is a part of the Electronic Registration Information Center, also known as ERIC, which is a network that shares data to improve the quality of election administration by promoting accurate voter rolls and identifying illegal voting. There's 30 other states that are members of that organization. So if you go ahead and you register in one of these other states and you go ahead and vote, we'll get notification about that. And that's what exactly happened here. So ERIC really you know, stood the test and we found 17 voters that were double voters. Johnson says while double voting isn't a violent crime, his office still works to make sure those cases are caught. We do want to try to run down everything we can when there's an allegation uh, and make sure that, that our elections are, are being run and, uh, in a fair manner and uh, the integrity of the election is protected. According to the DA, upon investigating, his office was able to confirm that Morrison passed away in Texas in February of this year, so this case is now closed. The Secretary of State says this is a serious felony that faces up to 10 years in prison and up to a $1,000 fine.